Project Amy has been a two and a half year collaboration between industry, academia, and government to put together what is the most unique, advanced excavator of the future that we could possibly come up with. Project Amy is the brainchild of a very unique industry and university consortium called the Center for Compact and Efficient Fluid Power, the CCEFP. And that group of individuals uh, took a tour of Oak Ridge National Lab in 2014 where they saw the 3D printed car that had then just been printed. And a group of us sat around a table and began brainstorming. And once we started talking that through, the idea of a 3D printed hydraulically powered excavators seemed like a natural choice. My focus has been on how are we going to do it? How are we going to develop the machines that can actually 3D print metal and composites, uh, pieces that can go on a functional excavator. You go straight from a CAD model to the part. So we want to highlight how additive is more than just one process, one type of material. And on the cab, we're going from pellets to the part uh, and it's plastics and composites. On the boom, we're going from a welding wire to the part uh, and it's going to be steel. And then on the heat exchanger, we're going from powder using a laser to the part. Project Amy is really special because it truly represents the future. Project Amy has been a tremendous opportunity for AEM and the industry to really collaborate on what it is a, a, a two and a half year project, um, bringing together industry, academia, and associations that represent those companies in order to really focus on specific problems within the industry, specifically how to, how to advance that 3D manufacturing. As we develop the technology, we're trying to demonstrate where it can be used so it's commercially viable. It's going to generate interest. It's going to generate excitement. And I think that you'll be shocked at, at who will want to see it. It'll go all over the world.